Hello, I'm Sarah Jane and I'm a research engineer working as a technology transfer fellow at Specific Information Knowledge Centre in Swansea University. But what is an engineer? For those of you who don't know, an engineer is someone who takes an understanding of maths and science principles and then uses them to design and create buildings, products and all other sorts of technology that you can think of. So I came to Swansea University in 2011 to do my undergraduate master's degree in product design engineering. And then because I enjoyed it so much, I decided to stay and do an engineering doctorate on screen printing of functional materials. And then after that, a job came up at Specific where I could utilize the skills that I had gained during my engineering doctorate and use them to work on printed electronics such as solar cells and resistive heaters. So most of my work is done on solar cells, but what exactly do they do? These are products that could take energy from solar energy and convert it into electrical energy using the photovoltaic effect. But as well as solar cells, my research group also work on a variety of other technologies, including printed heaters, which are low voltage forms of heaters that can be printed using printed carbon and put on a variety of different services, which make them great for underfloor heating, transpired solar collectors, which have lots of tiny holes in metal sheets on the outside of a building that can draw in the warm air and then use it to heat up the homes, salts and matrices, which are special salts are able to store heat energy and then release it when it's needed. And then there are also batteries for when the sun isn't shining so that we can still have electricity even at night. So some of this technology has been used in a variety of cases in classrooms, homes, train shelters, all of which the group has worked on. These are completely off grid and can lead to no energy bills and lower carbon footprints. So what exactly do I do on a day to day basis? My work is quite varied, so I get to do things like design and plan experiments, which I then get to carry out in the labs. And then I can use my lab work to analyze the data I've got and be able to structure new experiments to do afterwards. When I have a good set of results, I can write papers from this, as well as this, I also get to teach including in undergraduate labs and classes for mechanical engineering and I also do some outreach with schools. Uh, sadly, most of my work is currently done from home as I can't go into the offices due to the pandemic, but I am still allowed to go in to do my lab work. So where exactly do I work? I work in Specific's Pilot Manufacturing Research Centre in Baglan. This contains three open plan offices where I can usually work when we're not in a pandemic. There is also a large workshop area along with laboratories. Most of my work is done in the clean room laboratory as that's where the screen printers, the dryers and the ovens that I use are based. The large screen printer that you can see on screen now is where I do the majority of my work. And then once it has been printed, it can go into conveyor dryer that you can see coming up on the left. When it comes out, it's ready to have more layers put onto it. And then on the right, you can see a reel to reel printer that allows us to do continuous reels of printed electronics like a really, really long solar panel. Uh, but most of my work is on screen printers where sheets of prints are printed and you have a finely woven mesh like the ones you can see right here. These have a polyester woven mesh with a emulsion stencil on top to determine exactly where the print's going to go through. And at Fair bit of my work is also done on this small screen printer where I get to do some of my experiments to test out different parameters and different settings without wasting lots of materials. It works by putting in the screen, then you have a flow coat to drag the ink over the screen and have it evenly distributed. And then a poly F, uh, sorry, polyurethane squeegee, which you've just seen go in, then pushes the screen into contact with what's being printed on to, in my case, glass. Then as it comes across, you are left with your print. However, it's not all glamorous. So what you can see right here is what most of my life is, which is cleaning as the conductive inks that I use are quite dirty and they stick to things and they take a lot of time and effort to scrub off with very strong solvents, which is why you can see the state of my Dalmatian like lab coat as no matter how much I clean it, it's not going to come out. So printing happens with three of the different layers. So what you can see here is conductive carbon going down. We also put down titania and zirconia. 
and the things that aren't printed are sprayed or syringed into place in the case of these perovskite solar cells which are nice and simple to make. So thank you very much for listening and I hope you found this interesting and thank you for your time. <laughs>